Test one, two, three. Nice. Okay, 2023. Off to a good start. Oh, how we doing out there? Welcome back. Happy weekend. If you're watching this when this publishes, it's early in 2023. Time to break down some races. Actually, as always, question of the day. What races are you registered for? And what, what races are you planning to register for? Because I realize some of it is a little up in the air, uh, depending on the race that you're registering for with respect to, does it fill up? Does it not fill up? Can you travel there? Can you not travel there? And flexibility is not, not the stretching kind, but flexibility in our travel plans is frankly pretty key at this point. In the last three or four years, obviously we've dealt with the pandemic. Uh, hopefully that's in the past, uh, but Two of my races, one was canceled because of avalanche danger. Another was canceled because of forest fires. So there are some uh, outside of our control situations that we just can't, you know, we have to be flexible with. All right, so I just wanted to put that out there at the beginning, but that's the question of the day. Oh, and before I forget, hold on. Are you gonna be racing in a, hold on, hold on, there it is, in a DGR singlet? All right, I almost forgot. Deadline is coming right up to pre-order, okay? Singlet or t-shirt made, made out of the same material. I realize some people prefer to race in a t-shirt versus a singlet. I'm more of a singlet guy, but I gotta say, in the ultra running world, which we'll talk about in a minute, you know, racing in t-shirts is, is much more common. It's just not what I'm as used to as much. Anyway, pre-order down below in the description. There is the link on your screen right now. Uh, it's gonna end in two weeks, all right, from this publishing date. So you gotta get your order in if you wanna be racing in this in 2023. Okay, here we go. I always lean toward two to three peak races a year. And a peak race for me is where I'm in the, the prime fit of my life. Like I am really ready to rock and roll. That's where I'm going for PRs, going for maybe course records, maybe to win the race, whatever the case is. And actually 2022, uh, I managed to fly the, it was a rough year, but I managed to fly the W, win it in Gasparilla, Florida, which was a tune-up race. So for every peak race, I also like to do tune-up races. It can't always happen, and it's definitely not going to happen all the time in 2023. So two to three peak races, two to three tune-up races, and then maybe one to two just fun races. You know, just register for, remember the 90s? We just show up, and you had cash. Remember cash? You show up at the table at the race, and you talk to the race director or at least a volunteer, and you say, hey, I want to register and they would hand you a waiver, a piece of physical paper and you would take a pen out and you would write your name in and you'd give them $10 or $15. Those were the days, right? Remember the 90s? Those are good days. So anyway, one to two races a year where you just show up and you just have a good time and you just race really low expectations with respect to winning or a course, right? Just go and have fun. All right. I like those races as well. So for me, flew the W in Florida, which was a tune up for the PR in Rotterdam. All right, so we had a decent 2022, at least early, but then things went down. So I want to uh, reignite many of those goals and dreams from 2022 into 2023. Actually, let's toss it to, yes, part of the reason I can travel around the world, I'm gonna give a shout out to today's sponsor for today's vlog. Thank you, as always, Bombas, for making it happen. Remember Christmas morning as a child. And the last thing you wanted was a pair of socks in your stocking. Fast forward 20, 30, 40 years, and all you can dream about is getting the most comfortable socks on your feet on Christmas morning. Yes, indeed, that is what is happening for me in 2022, moving into 2023 with all of these Bombas socks. So comfortable, performing so well in crazy weather conditions here in Colorado in the winter. And yes, thank you Bombas for sponsoring today's vlog. As always, discount code SETH20, there it is on your screen. And in this season of giving, they do give back. They have a matching program, so every sock purchase, they donate a pair to the homeless. A very cool program. Thank you Bombas once again for keeping my feet warm and dry and happy out there on the trails and roads around the world. All right, onward and upward, let's keep working. Now also for this list, all right, I am registered for some of them, but not all of them. I'm planning to go to most of them, but maybe not all of them, depending, because what's gonna happen, it gets complicated, especially in the trail running world. If I do well in certain races, 
it will qualify me for other races. And I just have to go race. For example, the first one, here we go. Formidable 50K. It's going to be a rust buster. First of all, first race in 10, uh, 10 months, 10 years. First race in 10 months. Uh, first 50K, I think in three years, if I'm not, maybe four years. So it's I'm transitioning from shorter-ish uh, sub ultra racing to slightly longer. I'm not going for 100 milers or 100 Ks, but I am going to attempt a 50 K in February. So if you live in Northern California, who knows, maybe we will be able to uh, do a group run together in specifically Auburn, California. All right. The DGR, di speaking of this singlet, DGR distance classic is going to be in April. Okay. There's the dates on your screen. That's where if you register for the race, you can buy this singlet there through run sign up. And I'm going to be doing the vertical challenge. So the vertical challenge is how many vertical feet I can accumulate over the course of those dates, all right? So it's about an eight or nine day event, all right? So vertical challenge for the DGR Distance Classic. Are you registered? Let us know in the uh, comments what race are you registered for? Zagama, oh, Zagama, there it is, all right? You all know this will be the fourth year. I've attempted, all right, two years, it was canceled because of uh, COVID. Third, last year, third year, I was injured. Fourth year is fourth year, the charm. I'm planning, I'm planning, I'm planning to go to Northern Spain in May. All right. So hopefully I'll see you there. Hopefully, hopefully. All right. Fast forwarding a long ways all the way to uh, Pikes Peak. Okay. So now listen, there are some other races. Again, they're, they're up in the air because um, I have to qualify. So I'm not going to put them on the screen because there's no guarantee that I'll be there. All right. So there are some other races in the summer 2020 uh, three, I almost said 22, 23 that I'm hoping to race, but there's no guarantee. All right. Got to Got to put in the work first. All right. Mammoth trail fest is a question mark, but I'd like to be there. Here's the reason it's a question mark. It's only one week after Pike's peak. Personally for me, I'm not a big fan of doing back to back racing weekends, like especially intense racing, uh, fun racing. Yeah, I'll do that any day, but Pikes Peak is intense. And so I am plotting to go to Mammoth for their trail fest. But again, you got you to listen to the body and I'm not getting any younger if you know what I mean. So there you have it. That's the racing schedule. Now, again, again, if I... <laughs> I would love to do one road. I will, I'm just going to say right now, it is unlikely I am at the New York City Marathon. I would love to be at the New York City Marathon in 2024. Unlikely in 2023. Things could change. I'm not writing it off completely. Things could change, but probably New York City Marathon the following year. Just putting that out there because I know we have a good time when uh, I can show up in New York City. And then um, possibly a late, late 2023 road marathon okay again nothing registered so i'm not gonna I, I have no idea but possibly a late 20 it really depends on what happens in the mountain running trail running scene in um in 2023 and i guess i should mention that pike's peak um oh well let's just roll the tape the golden trail world series brings together six of the world's best trail races in my mind i was going for the win not for the second place i typically think i really like racing at altitude but that was just a whole nother level fuck altitude never again never again i don't want to lose the race now it was a lot of back and forth which makes a race a race <laughs> The big question this year is who's going to win that battle? We will be the Europeans because we believe in us. Estás supuesto un antes y un después en mi vida deportiva. I wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for other people. Obviously, I underestimated Remy Bonet. In the end, I know there's risk doing trail races, but it's worth the risk. Then you can lose it all. I'm climbing mountains, like. I never would have believed myself to be doing that. That's right. Zegama, Pikes Peak, Mammoth, uh, you know, Dolomites. All these great races around the world uh, are part of the Golden Trail World Series. Okay? So, again, it's all things are – you have dreams, but you have to be flexible at the same time because, you, well, first of all, you got to stay healthy, and then you've got to qualify for certain races. And so I can't put everything on the screen at this point in time. I already asked the question of the day. I already talked about uh, the single. I am telling you, I might be more excited to get to California, not to race, 
just to put this on in a race. I, it's been such a journey to develop this racing singlet. You guys know the story there. So, uh, and it again, it is available down below in the description. Can't wait. Keep working. Keep turning that doorknob. Keep seeking a little vertical if you're getting ready for trail and mountain race. Actually, even if you're not, it's good to seek vertical just to strengthen those legs. But we're in this together. All right. I believe in you. Stay consistent. Stay focused. Remember, one of my goals was prehab, prehab, prehab in order to avoid injuries. That's why I was unable to go to Zagama in 2022. So that's really, really, in fact, here in a minute, I'm going to head off to the gym and get after it. All right, everybody, we'll toss it to, um, I don't know, maybe another vlog where I talk about how to develop your racing and training calendar in an annual calendar year. We'll do that one right there, right there, right there. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Butter my bread. See you tomorrow. <laughs>